world, having a look around. I think we just found some Scorched. Let's deal with these guys. They're not that bad. They're actually pretty easy to deal with. Um, the, the VAT system is pretty good. Like, as you saw just then, it works really well. Gives you a percentage. Burns up. Now, you don't have to use a gun. I, I prefer killing these low-level guys with just the weapon. It's really good. The, the combat's nice. I, I think we're all dying for this. Like, I really think we are. Just an open world fallout building game would be great. I'm hearing screams nearby. I think we might go and investigate that shortly. I just go and loot these guys all first. Now I got a bit banged up there because I wasn't paying all that much attention. Now I know I'm dehydrated again, which does suck. Now I've got my light on at the moment, but as you can see, the graphics in this game is absolutely amazing. Bethesda is delivering again and again good quality when it comes to what you want to see and what you want to play. So I'll definitely give them that. No matter what they're doing, it's always good. Always, always good. So I'll grab their stuff and I need to find water. Otherwise my AP is going to keep going down, my hydration is going to keep going down. The Scenery is really nice too. As you look around, you'll see like really good looking storyline bits. Like there's corpses loot of people who've been hit by radiation and turned into petrified statues. Now, unfortunately, on the stream, I'm not getting the best quality. I'm still fiddling with the settings, trying to get the quality up there for you guys. But it is great quality. Now, if you use your AP, you do way more damage. Way, way more damage. Just so you know. Then you will just firing. As you can see, you nearly killed him in the first couple of shots, so do that, and he'll go straight down. So the AP is a big thing in here. Like, the AP is really, really big. Um, it does a lot of damage extra on top of what you already do with the AP. So, we're just going to have a bit of a look around. We're going to see what we can find. I need water. Um, I might have to drink irradiated water at this point. Like, I had a little lake that I'll set up next to. I decided to move my base because I wanted to follow the, the quest objectives right now. I'm hearing gunfire nearby. I've got a lot of bullets. Like I said, I went through the main town nearby and like just, oh, there's two of them over there. Okay, that's great. You can sprint, which is great. Uses up your AP though. We're just going to avoid those guys. I need water. Otherwise, I'm, what the hell? Oh, yeah. These protectorons are so cool, they're like the friendly ones that wander around with like the blades and things. It looks so awesome. I came across one and he was like a logging protectron. He had like uh, a vice grip thing and it was just really, really cool. I really enjoyed that. I think they were up north of here. There's a player there. Um, there's a social button. Again, I need water. So, and I had to come back to the starting area because I got a bit too excited and I started adventuring off on my own. I, I went into that sawmill there and I came across these ticks. They run really, really fast, suck your blood, and then they get really slow and fat. So, it's kind of cool. Um, great mechanic, really. I'm so enjoying this. This is what I was talking about, the petrified guys that you can search. You just walk up to them, pop them open, and you search them. And this guy emotes. Let's just do this. We'll wave to this guy. Hey, hello. I've got my party hat on. There is a whole heap of scorched ones in this place. I'm going to have a problem with water if I go in here, but sure, why not? Because, you know, you only live once, right? So we'll just use the AP, because it's so strong. It's so, so strong. I think, I don't know how that's going to go down to PvP, but it's like, the gun barely does any damage normally. But if you go to that AP screen and you nail them, it just shreds them. I think it takes... Three hits on a machete, four hits on a machete, which is like 16 damage. Um, the assault rifle, or the hunting rifle I've got is like 20 damage, it's not a whole lot more. So, I actually picked up this hunting rifle right at the start of the game. Oh, look at the deer! It's got two heads. Oh my god. Awesome. Oh, it's a spy bot from the um, Brotherhood. Cool. Okay, all those familiar things that you keep seeing around the place really help, and they just point out stuff that you love about the game. I could build some ammo right now, um, I think I might, because you're getting little objectives every time you do something, and you're leveling up, and you get little cards, like I really like the leveling system, you get little cards, you apply them, they give you your perks, I know that there's going to be a lot of people who are going to shred this game to pieces, but at the moment, um, 
on Xbox, there's not that many survival games to try. There's Subnautica, which is a beautiful, amazing game. There's Conan, which is a relaxing, fun game and good building mechanic in that. Then there's Ark, which is really, really enjoyable, beautifully stunning game. But the upkeep in Ark is what eventually puts you off it. You could play Ark for like a year or two years, and then just decide that upkeep has ruined it for me, and you're sick of feeding dinosaurs and fueling generators every day. So you just stop playing. And that's, that's how Ark ends for you, pretty much. But the thing about this place is, I'm enjoying this so far, it's a big open world, but let me show you the map. This is the map, and yeah, look at the size of this place, like, whoa. Now, base building is something we're going to have to go through again here in a minute. I might have to go, we're going to have to go left, we're going to have to go to the water, because we're going to die from dehydration, I think. So we'll, we'll go that way, we're going to ignore Bibby, Billy Bob over there, because we don't really need to hang out with Billy Bob. We know what we're doing, we've got hunting rifles, we're in sort of a newbie area where the levels are pretty close to yours, level 1, 2, nothing too scary, I'm level 3 now, um, I'm just going to go and drink some dirty water, because I feel that's my, in my best interest right now, actually, let me have a look, yeah, okay, so there's an area to explore over there as well, um, canned dog food, yeah, we can eat that for some health and food, like, food and water is a big factor of this one, which is kind of cool. Because, I don't know how long everybody's wanted food and water, like, they, they can play all the fallouts on hardcore. Hey, bottle of water, there we go, we don't have to die from water. But it barely does anything. <laughs> I found cooking stations recently as well, so I'm going to eat that. Food, water is way more important than food. You're drinking way more water than food. So as you notice, the little red bit next to my AP has disappeared now, because the thirstier you are and hungrier you are, the more you lose on your AP. So, I've been figuring this out from the get-go. I'm not, like, amazing at this, but, yeah, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. We're figuring out this game. Um, it, all in all, I am completely glad that I have decided to pre-order this game. Because I haven't seen a single thing I don't like about it. Like, just look at the scenery. It's visually stunning. Visually stunning, and you want to explore it. Like, isn't that the main thing about most survival building crafting games, where you just want to explore? So, now, I know that one of the biggest qualms people had was that there wasn't going to be any storyline. I I think there is. I think there's a Brotherhood bot. What is that doing fighting me? I missed at 72%. Oh, there we go. We hit it. I wonder what it's got. Scrap metal about you. Scrap metal. <laughs> Steel metal. Um, okay, you can explore tents. That's cool. I actually really like that. That's really, really cool. So, the hunting rifle has a bit of a clip. It's great. And now we can just travel up here. So, on the map, it shows you places you haven't explored yet. They're just marked out with, like, little building symbols, which is really good. Uh, now I needed to find the Overseer. The Overseer's, the vault was, where was that vault? I came out of it and I got ex excited and I didn't follow any of the instructions, I just took off. Okay, so if we go that way, roughly, and then cut right a little bit, we'll get back to the vault. And then we can find the Overseer, because it's like, find the Overseer's camp. I'm assuming the Overseer isn't there anymore. She's ordered us all to go out to this, you know, wasteland and retake the world. I'm going to turn my pit boy off. It's really good at night time though. Really handy to have the torch going at night time. Um, okay, so the harvesting is interesting. You can walk out the bushes, take what you want from them, sort of flowers. I was making some kind of like uh, a tea from them earlier. I don't know if it had any great effects or not, but it was pretty cool. Hey, sugar bombs! There's a favorite of everybody. Oh, this guy went through the windscreen. Poor guy. He must have been like, oh look, nuclear weapon! Boom! Through the windscreen. <laughs> Okay, we'll go up this hill. Look at this. This is beautiful. Um, I need to reposition my base as well, because end of the day, I built my base in somewhere where I thought it would be pretty good. Are uh, you going to be a good one or a bad one? Are oh, you a responder protector? Okay. So I figured out that this highway is under the protection of the responders. The responders. Okay. So I found a responder camp. I'm sure the responders were the guys who initially were trying to help with the radiation stuff but the scorch guys murdered them in the chapel where they had set up a temporary like 
field hospital or something. I went through there. And that was pretty cool, actually. It really, really scenic. The, the storyline's there. You need to look for it, though. Like, not every game has to sit there telling you the storyline, and you don't just read them. <laughs> Mr. Farmhand. Mr. Farmhand annoyed with me. He's missing a lot of his little weapons on this scutsy. Eh, he's a fine. Mr. Farmhand's fine. He, he doesn't want to fight. Okay, so we're going up road. Now, I keep doing this because it's been so long since I've played a Fallout game and I'm still mashing buttons trying to remember all the controls. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll go up here. I actually just bought Fallout 4's old, old DLC. I've been holding off on that for a long time, but it was on special the other week. So I picked it all up and I intend to before Fallout releases on the 14th or is it 16th? I know one of them is 14. I think Fallout 14 and Battlefield 5 is the 16th, which is another title. Like, hello, ghouls. Okay, so these are responders, clearly, if you have a look at these guys. Now, they don't. They act kind of weird. Like, as you can see. I don't have any AP, so I'm just going to swap to my melee weapon where I can hit these guys. This might be a rough battle because I don't have any AP. I didn't realize I was running so much. There's a miner. Okay, so we killed some of the ferals. Now, as you can see, the melee is really good. Like, no problem there. That's actually kind of enjoyable, just hacking and slashing at things, hoping that you win. Games like Vermintide and stuff like that have brought that around lately as a as a main thing to do in them. Just murder things in melee. It's it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna open up these toilets. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Okay, let's go back to our gun. Now, I've found a workshop inside one of the rooms, and I've been modifying, well, not modifying, oh, instruments. There's literally, I'm just going to make sure there's no red around me before I do this. There's literally instruments, like, everywhere, and if you play them, you get a buff, like a, a positive influence to your character, which increases some of its stats. And, you know, you're, you're pretty fluid with, like, any instrument you pick up. I picked up a random banjo some kind of mouth flute thing with a little prong that dong 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 and I was like, oh that's pretty cool and I was like, alright, well this is actually really really cool Hit boys unavailable okay, so we're gonna take some right away probably now let's have a look here now I did just notice that there is an an open mic thing going around, which is cool. It means that you can just literally talk to anybody you see. Really, really good. They're thinking about everything as they go, and it's really, really good. Um, let's have a look here. So we're gonna need some right away, which will be an aid right away. There we go. And then we're gonna need to take and steam, but we can just do that with the hot bar. Now, I just took a perk in my agility stats, which lets me auto-take a, a, um, a stim when I'm low on health. Yeah, you can open the stove. That's pretty cool. Oh, let's explore this house. Alarm clocks, they were always great for, like, radiation material and stuff. So, oh, look, there's a note. Come back to us. I'd come to try to find you, but I didn't care to bring Cheswick with me. I didn't want to get him to get hurt. I left him upstairs on the farmhouse. We just found a, found just north of here. I thought you'd still be here, but I haven't been able to find you. If you get this, I'm going to go back to the farmhouse. I hope Cheswick's still okay. Come find us when you get back to us. Okay, let's go find them. Let's find out what happened. See, it's not drip feeding you a storyline. It is literally there. You just need to look for it, right? And. I think, I feel people are complaining too early, like, they're just going, this game's going to be broken. Yeah, it's going to be broken. Every game's going to be broken. Look at, um, Conan. You, you start running and then you get randomly disconnected and run off a hill and die or something. It, it's, it's just the fact of life for MMOs these days, right? I know that we shouldn't be accepting it. Oh, I just got a recipe. The recipe to plants to craft items, open your pit boy, and then go to that item. Okay, cool. Um... So, he said the farmhouse is north, right? That's... Got to be down there. Yeah, I see the farmhouse. Okay, so he's in like a mountain. Oh no, oh no. Okay, so good old fallout wall scaling skills. Definitely still there. Yes, we made it. Awesome. 
Good, 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 good. Didn't die from the map from the cliff. Um, I'm not gonna burn all my AP this. Ah, look at that. Raider corpse. Mongrel meat. So somebody murdered this guy. Chinese officer sword. Does that do more damage than my um Does that do more damage than my machete that I love so much? Where is it? Multi-purpose axe. Oh, it does 27. Nice. Let's look for the Chinese officer sword, because everyone always wants the swords when they find them. They're like, yeah, sword! It's broken. The 17 damage. Okay, we're gonna use the Where is it? Where's that axe? We're using that. I think I went past it again. Yeah, we're using that axe. That's our elite weapon now. Machete. No, not you, machete. Not you, machete. Okay. So we're going to need to go to this. We're going to need to equip the axe, I feel, and unfavorite the... where is it? Machete. Yeah. No, nah, it's cool. Alright, so... There we go, axe, machete, axe, machete. Okay, cool. We've got that sorted. So, hot swapping is great. It, it's, it's a good feature that the Fallout games have always had. Just gonna go down here, pick a few flowers, have a dance in the daisies, and now we're at the farmhouse. So, she said she left, or he said, he or she said they'd left them upstairs. So, we'll find out where they are. Um. Oh look, ghouls are oh, scorched actually. And they're dead. What is this? A meat pile. Okay, I have a feeling the scorched aren't like nice guys. <laughs> the meat pile. Um, so the yellow crates is always as. You've got to look around for the coloured ones. The one coloured ones are the ones you can loot, like all Fallout traditional games. Uh, we'll go to craft, right? Modify Repair, Craft, have a bit of a look at the crafting system. Now it's very familiar to people who have already done these games before. We've got a Chinese Officer Sword, uh, screw it, we'll repair, yeah let's, let's repair the axe, where is the axe, there it is, we'll repair the axe, and we will scrap like pretty much all of this, because I'm not using it anyway. Yeah, we'll scrap all the pipe weapons, because I feel when we want one, there'll be one sitting around, because look at the amount I've picked up of these pipe weapons. So I'll just get rid of all of them. I, I was keeping them, but eh, I don't see much of a point now. Okay, and that actually helps out. Now our inventory is a bit better. Um, no, we'll actually we'll go and we'll modify our hunting rifle now. Let's see if we... Oh, we might repair it while we're here too, right? Okay, so standard receiver... We can't do the severe severe receiver because we need more aluminium. Can't do the barrel because we need more screws. Screws. Ah, springs. Silver. <laughs> Silver, I have a feeling, is going to be a bit rarer and harder to get a hold of, but that's fine. Okay, so there we go. Now we're... Had a look at the crafting system. Um, I might set up my camp near here. Is that water? I think that's water. Yeah, that's that's a road and then there's water down there. Kind of want to set up near here. I have a feeling this will be a good area to get find wood and all sorts of things. Tinker's workbench. What does a tinker's workbench do here? I haven't actually looked at this one yet. Uh, ammo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this one now. Whoops. Yeah, we, we were making guns and ammo earlier, so we remember that now. Okay. Let's go find out what happened to... What was his name? Cheswick? Oh, look at that. They were even mopping. Meat piles are not promising. That's like wind chimes, not creepy at all. I feel someone's been here recently, because all the doors are open. <laughs> I was like, I'm definitely not the first person to come here. Still mason jar, I'll take that. I don't know if the loot is shared. I, I, hey! Someone has definitely been here. Because there is two dead corpses here. Um, I doubt that the loot is shared because I can kind of go and pick up things even when people have been by looting. Okay, message to... Responders don't know shit. Every night there's more of them in the sky. Brotherhood warned them, warned us all, defiance has fallen, 
they said, what the hell does that mean? Supplies are running low, maybe maybe able to get Abby way over to the mountain. Free states gotta know more. Sammy, you read this, get to Abby, straight east of the Red Rocket Mega Stop. She knows the Brotherhood of Steel better than anyone. May angels look after you. Yeah, okay. So, that's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Good note. Alright, we'll pop out here. Someone's already been in there and murdered the um, scorched ones that were there. Is that a horse trailer? Huh. Cool. Still got a cattle trailer. Um, you actually get a real feeling of the ambiance of this world. Like, they put a lot of detail into a lot of structures instead of a few. Like, look at these poor, poor nuclear wasteland people. We'll just pinch some more of them, because this is the only way to get caps I've found out so far. Um, I had a feeling that something was going to dig its way up next to me there for a second. And I'm like, not surprised! Okay, so... Is this some kind of scrap place? Yeah, it looks like a scrap kind of place. We're going to take those wenches, because we can break them down for junk later. It should be fine. Um, was this where I found the ticks? This looks familiar. Or maybe it's just like the same default place, reuse and reuse. Now, if I can find those ticks, I'll show you them. They're pretty terry scary. Terry scary. They're creepy the way they run. Lumberjack saw. We'll take that. First aid, nothing in it. Uh, acid waste. <laughs> acid waste. Yes, we'll take that. <laughs> That's useful now. <laughs> it's all useful. So the vault's just over there. We're making a good path back to the vault. Now I have a feeling I want to set up my base. Also a water source. Yeah, this looks pretty good. It's flat. It's pretty flat. Um, I don't know. It's protector on Durani, so at least you know the area is somewhat safe. Mm. All right. Yeah, we'll get in the base building for you guys. Just just to show you base building. So again, I'm going to hit start by accident because I've been doing that all day. Now, you've got to pay caps to move your base, so be careful where you put it. Now, it, whenever you move it, you can build in that big green circle around it. Now, apparently I can't put it anywhere near here, because you can't really interact with, like, the known areas of habitation. So I can't put it anywhere near here where I kind of was thinking. That there is where I can start putting it. Now, I don't like this spot. Definitely not flat enough for me. So I guess we're not doing it yet. We'll just keep heading. We'll just keep going. We'll find somewhere else. Now, I really should have drank some of that water back there, because I don't know when the next chance... Eh, we'll go back and get the water. <laughs> it's a survival game, right? <laughs> you got to start worrying about this stuff. Okay. Ah, there's the water. I really don't want my AP to drop down too much because it's extremely annoying when your AP drops down. Drink. We'll drink. Take the radiation that goes with it. We've got plenty of rat away. What we don't have is plenty of water. Ah, oh, what was that? Oh, like an upturned boat with a lunchbox? It's a lunchbox. It's a cooler. Okay. Sharp wood. Sharp wood. They are terrifying. Look at them. They got like a holy claw and a buzzsaw. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna go this way past these guys and we're gonna go head back up there to the vault so that we can try to find the overseer's camp. Which, from what I read in the notes, was down the road and I just was like, zip! Straight out to the woods! Let's go adventure! Woo! -hoo! <laughs> like most players, I'm guessing, kind of do at some point. Like, I, I want to know it's open world. I'll go explore my own. <laughs> it is very open world, and you can definitely do anything at any rate you want to do. You, you're definitely not bound by any laws of how to progress. Um, except for the fact that the enemies seem to level up as you get further away from this area. 
So, I guess, a bit like most games with that sort of thing. If you move away from the starting areas, they get tougher. Or like, very... That code that WoW originally put in. There's a player there just chilling out. Camera New Zealand. Okay. We're going to take the potato plants because we don't have any food. Potato plants, potato plants. Canned meat stew. Canned dog food. We'll eat the canned dog food. We'll eat... Two taters. And then there's our food goes up slightly. Very slightly. Moonshiner's Shack. Yeah, you get a little bit of experience for finding areas, just like in the actual Fallout games, which is pretty cool. So Moonshiner's Shack means to me that this is definitely where they're making moonshine, right? Um, Psycho. Ooh, what a surprise. A chemistry station. Yeah, not surprised at all. Pretty warm money. I feel, because of that meat pile there, that Cameron is probably already looting this place, I'll take everything I can find. Squirrel bits. Uh, I don't know whether we share or not. I don't think we do. Like, I literally don't think we do. Because I've been able to take things that other people have already... Oh, ah, yeah, there was ticks here. Okay, blood ticks were here. Those creepy, creepy blood ticks. Um, we'll go back up to the vault now. So, back up the hill we go. So, Cameron's obviously just came out of the vault as well, and he just started running off in a random direction. I got lucky. I went up to a guard tower that was sort of just down a couple of flights of stairs, and there was a hunting rifle and a machete in there. I was like, done! I'm we I'm armed! I have weapons! Oh, wait. No, there was a raider with a machete laying down dead in front of it, and then I went up into the tower. Either way, I was armed before I even went out into the waste, which is great. Because weapons do kind of lay around the place. Like, I've seen combat knives... I wouldn't want to get into this without a weapon, though, because it seems pretty brutal in that regard. What the hell is that? Liberator Mark... Whoa! It's not friendly. Definitely not friendly. Liberator Mark Zero. Why are they so hard to hit? Why are you so hard to hit? Oh, they're Russian! Look at the Russian star on them! That looks so cool! Okay, so they're rebuilding the future for a broken nation. Hey, 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 hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! You fly? What, what the hell is going on here? Give my weak hunting rifle kills on those, so thank God for that. Um, those were cool. They all got flyers, right? Propaganda flyers, rebuilding the future. Yeah. So Russia sent in drones, which were flyers. <laughs> 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 That's pretty cool, actually. I got 106 bullets, so I had, I had like 8 bullets when I first walked into the waste, and I was like, I'm so gonna die. Then I went through the town and like, murdered every person I could find, which was not that bad of a battle, really. And I came out of it with so many bullets, like, a ridiculous amount of bullets. I'm just gonna shoot this thing before it activates, because, you know, they're annoying. 5 XP. As you can see, the graphics in this are amazing. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. It looks so good. Uh, we'll have a look at this tank. Tanks always have something in them, right? Uh, hello. Another one of you little propaganda robots. I can hit you from here, right? Uh, it's running away. Running away. Doesn't want to die. Oh, I'll loot your friend. Have you decide to come meet your maker yet? Yeah, you have. Die! And it's down. Okay, good job. We'll loot these guys. I don't know why we're clicking every propaganda flight thing, but I kind of want them in the metal pile. I have a feeling they're like a resource thing. So there's a dead dude. Oh, there's a duffel bag of bullets. Yeah, see, tanks always equal good things. Good thing Fallout keeps its formula. That looks like a responder base. And my box has stuff in it. Dirty water. Oh, look, it's an actual tank, not just like the APCs. Wow, I don't think we've really seen many of these in Fallout. I haven't really even thought of what they could look like. That's pretty awesome. I love the fact it, the fact it's got like twin barrels. That's awesome. I think I've seen this somewhere. Maybe back in 
the day. I'm confusing it with the with the old um, Command and Conquer tanks or something. <laughs> it's pretty awesome though. Very much pretty awesome. So there's another APC that was getting moved there. Hmm. I feel I'm going away from the vault now. What is that? Is that a radar? Weak feral ghoul. Oh! It's just a survivor who's still wearing a backpack. Whoa! How zombie is she want to be? She's even got like a hat in the backpack. Okay, I actually saw someone running around with all that on earlier. And I was like, oh that's a cool player, he's well armed. No, uh, apparently he wasn't well armed. Apparently that's just what they, the ghouls look like. <laughs> I wonder if that's just going to be normal. What is that? That's a scorched. We got her. She's down. Scorched are, um, not tough. Like, yeah, definitely kill all the Scorched you can. Get all their guns and ammo. They're good supplies. Really good supplies. Break down all their guns, because each one has, like, a pipe gun or some kind of melee weapon. At first you begin slightly worried about them, but, meh. Later on you're like, they're just easy, so just keep murdering them. Can I go in there? Nah. Oh, there's like a... What is that? Firecap mushroom. We'll just take it, right? Okay, so Vault 76 is up there. Now, they, uh, they said she's down the road. So... Ah, oh, look, it's Chunk Grot. Chunk Rot. Chunk Rot? <laughs> okay, so we'll go up here a bit more. We'll have a bit of a look around. That just despawned, so that was probably more of these propaganda robots, right? Maybe the metal piles are despawning. Maybe they're just random loot piles that spawn and despawn in the world. That'd make a lot of sense to how they're doing their loot. Oh, look, there's a propaganda robot in there. Mark Zero Liberator. So I'm guessing there's Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3 Liberators as well. So there's the vault. Yeah, okay. There's the vault. Now, I came out and I went down there. So if you guys want to know where that um, hunting tower was, where I got my first gear, it was like just down here. I went past this, I went to uh, and then I pretty much just went off the track here. Got a machete from this guy and orders, which I'm already carrying. Then I went down there, I think. And then the hunting tower was just down there. And it has a duck bag of weapons and guns in it. Pretty good, really. Okay, so... I think she went down the road. I think... I think the road is where we'll have to go, which is probably why those Liberators, which are, from what I understand, storyline robots, it's probably why they're there. Hey, Chunk Rot. Bye, Chunk Rot. Okay. So we'll head back this way. There's another dead soldier. They really were trying... Oh, multi-purpose axe! Okay, so that guy's worth looting, that responder corpse. You get an axe! Those axes are pretty sweet, like... Yep. Pretty sweet. I like those axes. Okay. So I guess we'll start heading this way. And if we go down this road, we could probably find the um, overseer. Because they said she was down the road. So this has got to be down the road, right? Like, got to be down the road. She explains why you, you encounter like a soot, like a scorched one, and you encounter a feral, slowly introducing you to all the horrors of the wasteland. Because there's only one feral, uh, only one of both there, so that's got to be like introductory, anyways. Um, that car's trashed. That car looks so cool. I want to drive that. That looks awesome. Uh, look at this terrain. Just, yeah, yeah, you just want to get into this. Look out there, you just want to run that way. Like, pick an edge of the forest and just, shoo, straight into the woods. Never look back. Just never ever look back. So, yeah. Can't wait for this to release. This definitely looks like something I want to play.
We'll see what we can find out now, though. I'm interested in leveling up a bit more. Uh, I think I did level before, actually. Maybe we should apply that? Is that a level? No. So you go into here, and you get little perk cards. But I'm hoping to level soon, and I'll show you guys actually leveling when we do that. So it's like the other ones where you hit the button, it comes up, going boom boom, pick a stat, you pick your stat, and then you get like cards to, to apply. Okay, we'll keep going down the road. I'm pretty sure we took this road to get up here, didn't we? I oh, know, that's this way. <laughs> Showing up that player, Lushable M. That dot is a player. It's pretty cool. That's what I call an ambush. Always take the high ground, right? I can't believe that guy had a backpack. That was pretty cool. The feral ghouls in this are really cool. Um, fought a bunch of soldier ones, a lot of responder ones. Oh, look at that motorcycle! Hmm. Look how nice this terrain is. Like, you just can't help but to gaze off randomly. Ah, uh, it's a Liberator Mark 1. Oh, it's a tougher variant of the Liberators. Is that a farmhouse off the road? There's a tank? Oh, well, not a tank. We'll start calling them what they should be called. An APC. There's an APC over there, which is always good loot. We'll head over to that APC, and we'll ignore whoever's taking pot shots at us. That was a military thing. Oh, look at the hat! I want the hat! Campaign hat. Alright, what's firing at me? That's a liberator. Wait, aren't these things like impossibly hard to hit? Yeah, they are. Wow, I'm gonna die these things. Yeah, they just murdered me in like seconds. No! Call for help! There's no one to help me. Oh god! Look at the hand symbols! Oh! <laughs> That's so cool. That's awesome. Alright, we'll go up now. What happens to you when you die? Oh, you drop a bag. Hopefully that wasn't all my ammo and stuff. That'd be great. What was it? Um. Place marker. How do I... It's like respawn location. Can I respawn at the vault? Yeah, you can. You can respawn at the vault. Cool. So that's not too far away. We'll respawn at the vault and then we'll head back and we'll get our stuff. And then we'll try murdering those things randomly. Whatever we can do to them. Clothing can be worn over armor pieces. Apparently you can be jazzy in armor one. Alright, um... Did I lose all my stuff? I lost all my stuff. Oh no! That is punishing, game. Punishing. You're doing really well, then you just lose everything, apparently. Wow. Okay, so maybe leaving some stuff behind in your um, base isn't a bad idea for when that kind of stuff happens. We'll run back anyway. And we'll go get our bag and probably just run away for a minute or two until we can rework our equipment, sort out our ammo. We died down there. So we'll just make the quick straight line this time. Ah! Okay, okay, not funny anymore. God damn it. <laughs> Why are they trying to murder me? I, it's because I have skin, isn't it? They want my skin. They're jealous. They gotta skin me. <laughs> okay. Ooh, let's get some AP back up. At least things are fairly easy to avoid. Like, you just pick a direction and sprint off. Alright, that works. Yeah, that works pretty good. Okay, so we'll head down. We die by this truck. I assume by that means that those little death liberators are hanging around the joint now. Whoa, what the hell is that? Good god. 
This is not a road to take on like weekends or anything, guys. This is like Mad Max stuff going on here. Did he run after me? He just ran off. Like, I'm. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining or anything. I'm glad that he ran off. But whoa. Okay, I want my stuff. Um, take. Take, 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 Miscellaneous. So retrieve your just because you dropped equipment. Is there a take all button? Okay. Server not responding. That's not good. Alright, I'm gonna. Server not responding. Controls are temporarily been disabled. No! 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 Let me equip my weapons! Server not responding. Controls have temporarily been disabled. Come on. Yeah, man, you can do it, server. Um, they did say that they were doing periodic ups and downs of the servers based on stress testing it to see how many players I'll have on at any given time. That's one of the things I didn't mention about this one. So maybe it's gone down? Could be it's gone down so that it's moved it to a different turn. Um, I did get all my stuff though. Okay. Well, there might be a good time to end it. Anyway, my thoughts? Very glad I pre-ordered it. This is going to be great. It's the thing I've been jonesing for. A uh, building survival first-person gun apocalyptic simulator. A bit like Seven Days to Die, but a bit more better crafting system in the way that it just has snap points and a bit more lazy. Uh, the map's way more involved. The graphics are amazing. And it looks like there's a lot to drop into here. Now, while the controls aren't going to responding, I can't really give you guys any more content, so I'll drop out there, and if they come back, I'll start the stream again. Thank you all for joining. It's been great.